And now we have a very special guest. Please welcome to the stage a famous poet, Peter McWilliams. Thank you so much. It is such a pleasure to be here among so many talented comedians and performers. Uh, it makes me think of a quote uh, from Jean Houston. Uh, she said, at the height of laughter, we are flung into a kaleidoscope of possibility. That is so wonderful. That is so wonderful. <laughs> well, before you go on any journey, I think it's important to, <laughs> to know who your guide is, whether it's a journey of the heart or a journey of the feet. And I, I know who all of you are. You're people who have come into this harbor of comedy seeking the warmth of human companionship. <laughs> and I'll tell you who I am. My name is Peter McWilliams. I've published over 50,000 poems. <laughs> I've written over 200 essays on my poems <laughs> and essays. And, 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 and I am, and I'm a poet, I suppose, as my profession, but my soul is the soul of a lover. And <laughs> these are some of the books that I've written. I brought my faves for lovers and no others. I love, therefore I am. Thank you. <laughs> You are so beautiful. You are beautiful. The hard stuff, love. It's not always easy. Love, an experience of. Love is yes. Come to my senses. Whenever anyone wants me to sign this, I always say, I haven't yet. <laughs> and am I too much for you? <laughs> of course. And, well, I'm going to give you a sampling of my poetry tonight and read a few poems. But before that, uh, I have a philosophy when I go to readings that uh, the community and the reader are the same. And, and I like to, to go into the community in the way that a bee flies into a field of flowers, gathering up the pollen and carrying it to the overlord, the queen mother who dwells within the nest, one named Marnanon. <laughs> That's a quote from RuPaul. Uh, and I like to go into the audience and bring and harvest people from the audience to, to say little bits and pieces of, of inspirational things about their life. So uh, if I could, is there anyone who'd like uh, to, to come on stage and just say something wonderful? Is there anyone out there who would? I can't. Uh, well, uh, uh, that would be just great. Would you mind, ma'am? Could you? That would be so great. Could you come come up here? Please, everyone. It takes such bravery to do this. And just just any anything uh, anything you want want to say to the to the audience because at this moment we're functioning as one heart and right now you are its beat. Okay, uh, just be who you are because who you are is cool.
Everyone, please, please, this stranger, this ship that has come into our port. Oh. That's why we do it, folks. That's why we do it. So I'm just going to share some of my writings with you. Uh, I wrote these poems over the course of 17 marriages. And <laughs> I was first married. I was in a common law marriage at the age of 16 with a Native American woman named Snow Lily. She, she was stung to death by bees. Well, it was alcoholism, actually, but, uh, <laughs> but she was stung by bees. <clears throat> I wrote this one for her, for Snow Lily. <sighs> Hold me very close tonight. I want you more than I want my life. Much more. Kiss me quickly. I love you. <laughs> this is so strong. <laughs> Here's another one. Uh, I call this one, it, it takes more than a restraining order. <laughs> oh, this one is gonna hurt. I'm falling faster than I said I would, or thought I could, and you aren't helping any. <laughs> You're so comforting and creative and beautiful and fulfilling. I am falling. I will flap my arms and pretend to be flying. Help me break my fall. Catch me with your smile. Isn't that wonderful when, when you're walking on down the street and, you're, and inside you're hurting and a stranger just smiles and it's just like you're that gymnast that's fallen in the net and it is just wonderful. <laughs> Finally, uh, I would like to read from, you can answer that, perhaps it's a lover wanting a <laughs> midnight liaison. A booty call, as they say on the streets. <laughs> One last poem, and then I'll leave you. This is Love is Yes. <clears throat> it's nice now. A good quality post coital pre hassle relationship. It won't be this way for long. Sometime soon, one will want more than the other can give or one will offer more than the other can take. Then is it worth it becomes the question of the day. But I want you to know, I do not want you to leave. I want to enfold you in a fleshy overcoat like those creatures from Beastmaster. <laughs> Thank you so much, my name is Peter McWilliams.